All right, so next up, um, I'm going to talk about the Nazgul. I call you the Nazgul because your false god is access. Okay? Just like the ring raids in Lord of, Lord of the Rings, they're each of them deceived because they're all drawn to the power of the one ring. Now, in God's ideal, human beings, just like everything else, need love. God's plan to furnish, quote unquote, enough love. What is enough love? Enough love is that amount of love where you can be easy when you're slighted. Okay? That means you give, you, you're the recipient of so much love. Your cup runneth over so much that you can give and forget and forgive and forget easily. So, <clears throat> I can hear you. I, I can hear your peanut calorie. Hyunjin, he's unable to forget. No, I've forgiven you a long time ago. That doesn't mean that I don't care about the direction of my family. Okay? And you are my family. You are my family. And you're going in the wrong direction. Okay? I already know that I want you to have successful families who know who th th I want you to be happy being the meek that that having a registered birth and a registered marriage are enough for you. I don't want you to be suffering from excessive desire as if registered births and registered marriages aren't valuable enough for you. I don't want you to suffer from that because there's no solution for you. I don't want you to, I, I don't want you to be in hell like that. So I do I love you. I lo I care about you. I didn't flee Completely. I've been in agony over what to do for you. And, and and this is it. This is this is this this is what you need. And I can't play the whole song and dance or wait for you motherfuckers to pass away. I'm just look, I'm just telling you we're in this era where we can dissolve our fallen nature if we properly value what we were given by true parents. Okay? Righteous birth. If that's not enough for you, like with Lourdes, you're, you're a creature of such immense desire that you go around creating harms. You're like, you're like, like, like a little demon, <laughs> you know, like troublemaker. Okay. I don't want that for you. I want you to turn to your blessed spouse, spouses and to your blessed children and understand that that was, that is enough. Surrender to the idea that that's enough for you. Okay. So anyway, um, call you Nazgul because most people in the third Adam's realm, which was the era of restoration, still did not receive the Messiah. And the full reception of the Messiah is to know what it is that he gave you when he gave you your spouse. If you have the blessing, but you don't internally receive the immense value, the pinnacle of, God, of, of God's gifts was your spouse. Are you the gift that is to come or shall we look for another? You all are looking for another gift. You're all looking for another gift. This is why you can leave your spouse at home and be on an endless quest for notoriety and fame and legacy and whatever, whatever your false God is. What is a God? A God is the thing that satisfies you. You're looking to other value systems to give you your ultimate satisfaction. That means you follow a false God. You won't receive satisfaction through God's means and according to God's values. So when Father says, blessed family is the most valuable thing in the cosmos, past, present, and future, you're like, <laughs> okay, yeah, 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 sure. And then you go back onto your quest to become famous in the movement and, 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 and to go down in history as you know, the second king who, who, uh, who brought our movement from this level to that level. And, you, you know, it, nah, no. You could have chilled out in Pennsylvania just enjoying your family. That wouldn't have been evil. That would have been evil. That wouldn't have been delinquent because people would have come to you and learned how to live in the realm of fourth Adam. What did Father say? Father said that when mother perfects herself, they're going to become normal people and teach that too. And so he just passed on that intention to you. So, so the Nazgul are animated by various false gods. So I'm going to call out each one of you guys false gods from my experience of you as a person, okay, as, as people. Now I'm going to start with Greg. Greg. Greg just wants a benefactor so he could chase capital profit, okay, capital profit. 
And he's 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 beta in that he will appease anybody. He doesn't think that I should call bitches bitches when they're being bitchy. Because, you know, that's the way the guy is. He's not the worst man. But he does have that profit value that I noticed. And so he turned the, he turned the front of the church into a damn bazaar. And shit, somebody might come along and turn those tables over one day. Why? Because of Greg's, Greg's relationship with profit motive. Other than that, I think he has a pretty cool family. And I like the fact that he, matched, he, he, he married his, his son outside. He felt freedom enough to marry his son outside of the sanctuary. Okay? That demonstrates freedom. Okay? Because so, I got a lot of friends who don't think that they're free enough. They're sanctuarians who don't think they're free enough to do what Greg did. To match, their, match and marry their kids outside of the sanctuary. Okay? Anyway... I think, you know, this, 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 this is, Greg's not the worst person. Lowell, also. The only thing I, 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 the only thing I saw with Lowell is that he jumped on the bandwagon when people started talking shit about me. And he would recall things that I said to Lourdes more intensely than I said to her in order to join in with everybody who was basically throwing mud in my name. So I thought that that was a weakness of uh, wanting to fit in socially. So the only thing I can really say, knowing that about uh, uh, Lowell is that you know his false god would be then social acceptance but I still like the guy okay Tim idol worship your idol is true family members and your other idol may be your intellectual vanity with um, knowing enough of God's word you, you, you didn't understand that uh, that the kingdom was here so even when you thought you knew, you didn't know, but you're very confident. So that's your intellectual vanity, possibly. Um, but you're very confident. And I didn't find you were able to be deterred um, when we showed you online, when we showed you online, that Father said that the, that the um, kingdom was, was here already. And if you want to go into the whole issue of actual kingdom, actual kingdom starts with citizenry first, then sovereignty then territory. It doesn't start with lines on the map first. It starts with a certain quality of faith within the believers, wherein they assert in front of all the naysaying archangels that they are the bona fide children of God and inheritors. Young Jinim is not the only person who should be asserting that he's an inheritor. Okay? He should not be. So when you have more people asserting that they're inheritors, this brings about the conviction. Sovereignty means, sovereignty refers to the relationship between the person and his belongings. Okay? So, when people assert that they are Lord, they act in a certain way related to their property. As these people defend their property with the assertion that nobody should come in and mess with them, as we rebuke people who, who got it wrong, in order to be sovereign, you must know how to rebuke people. You heard of castle doctrine, right? Castle doctrine means shoot people. Well, the shoot people that we're supposed to uh, exercise is through the word that we are talked about in the word. The word says that Adam would eventually have descendants. Those descendants are us. That's what it means, three great kingships. You guys are also teaching three kingships the wrong way. Three kingships ultimately ends in a confession that I'm the third king, that God is the first king, true parents are the second, and I'm in the line of lineage as, look, because you got a lot of people that don't believe that they're actually really born from the Messiah. So they can't assert themselves and assert their sovereignty. Okay? And if you really want to know about rod of iron, the rod of iron is the word. And when the word testifies about me, that is when I understand that before Abraham was, I am. <laughs> That's the kind of citizen that I am. I was preordained as an existence, as a, <laughs> okay? I'm not, I'm not a creature that's outside of the book. Do you understand? This, this is what it means to register in the book of life. Father said, you could have registered by reading his words. When you read his words, you understand that you, a blessed person, a descendant from Adam, were preordained outside of the realm of the fall, an original creation. Then, don't I deserve to protect my belongings, especially when I'm surrounded by people who came from stolen sperm and stolen egg? It is when I reach that level of conviction that things start to change. And then what happens? 
the the realm of ownership becomes a territory among all of us so you can't say that the kingdom doesn't exist and then ridicule people who say I'm already a citizen which is what you did and that was very ignorant and the reason why you stuck by it is because you're overconfident in your grasp of the truth your false god is your intellectual vanity but I, I generally like you I think you're a pleasant person but saying that there's tears concocting different tears to the realm of blessing and oh this tier owns a gun and that tier owns a, 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 a piece of land that can't be taxed complete concoction because you don't understand what the kingdom is so you're making up the rest of it according to shit that comes from you <clears throat> um, and if Hyung Jin Kuk Jin were totally wrong um, instead of correcting them according to you know the right way I think you corrected them you, you thought you were correcting Hyung Jin by saying that there is no kingdom but you actually caused him to botch to recant a year and a half condition where he was proclaiming the kingdom by doing a year and a half worth of sermons. Every verse that had the word kingdom he was doing. He had two weeks left. You're the guy who knocked him off. And you did so by being so confident you went in there. He, he testified on like the 27th to 28th or something of, Ju of July. He testified in that King's Report that you were the guy who knocked him off of that. So what faculty do you possess that was that strong well it's you're overconfident in your intellect in your understanding and you laughed me off when we were on the king's report and i told you that the 12 inch by 12 inch the square foot that i stand on is the kingdom of heaven and you laughed me off because you don't understand but at what i said is totally congruent with fathers what father said first the citizenry comes that is the assertion that I'm... All, do you understand that my citizenship is based on father's penis and mother's vagina? Do you understand that? Do you know that that's a part of this argument? When I look at what makes me citizen, it doesn't have anything to do with dirt. It has to do with a vagina being penetrated by the right penis. Do you understand that? Robert. I didn't like the way you wouldn't be in the hospital with your wife when she first went to the hospital. Okay? Didn't like it. The reason you did that is because you were in, in Hyungjin's basement doing a shitty job on his bathroom and he had to find somebody to come in and replace you. Okay? And they laughed at you for that and they, 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 they felt some type of way about you for that. But you know how you got yourself into that nasty position? Because your false god is also access. You want access to celebrity. Okay? So, you're an access whore. Okay? That's your false god. Alright? You need to give that up. Okay? Also, your intellectual vanity. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. One of, I, I, the worst look I ever got from you is when I called you stupid. Because you didn't understand why I couldn't stay in the, in the court case under the uh, circumstances. You were willfully ignorant. Okay, um, and then I called you stupid, and that was that must have been the worst thing I ever called you because you never looked at me like that before. Um, of course, I was convicted, but um, and and you know the other thing is, you you you're so self righteous, really. You're so self righteous. Like I, I could lay off Lourdes. You didn't have the ability to lay off. Okay, you never. Look, if you're so smart, who put me up to um, writing the article? that drew the fire of pseudo gay guy Janer to, to, to populate the, the, the dossier that uh, Sticky Fingers put on uh, Young Jin's table. Okay, I perturbed them when I wrote, it, when I wrote a counter essay that I didn't, I didn't want to get into it. But you said Lourdes needed to be set straight about the fact that the church era was over. You said, you said nobody can do it but you, Jamal. So you're the one reason why all that shit got started. Aren't you smart enough to track back to that moment when you came over my house and begged me to write a counterproposal to Lourdes' essay, Make Our Church Great Again? How come you never came to me and said, I'm sorry, I really got you into this? Because you're Captain Ahab and Lourdes is the white whale. And it doesn't matter how many crew members die. 
How many harpoons get broken? Because you wanted that white whale. Well, what would make you like that? You are blind in your self-righteousness. You don't know how to let it go. Because you need it too much. Lourdes. You're vain about your legacy. You told me one time you had 10 years left to save yourself, which betrayed the fact that you didn't already receive salvation in your own mind. And I could surmise from what you were saying that salvation, according to your value system and your false God, is to be seen as doing something so wonderful for true family members that they will rem remember you in the hereafter. And that they'll take you to their bosom with appreciation and that's going to be your ticket to the higher places on the other side. Okay? So, y y you're an access whore. And the reason why I call you a Jezebel is because you're so jealous of whoever sits in the seat next to the king. Okay? You gnash your teeth even more when Hyungjin says publicly that he appreciates me. Or he appreciated me. And I saw that. And um, the reason why I don't fall for, uh, like, I, I have some level of intellectual capacity to, to you uh, other guys and some fascination with celebrity. It's curious. But it becomes as bait when the will of those false gods would cause you to destroy or weaken the, the real gift from the Messiah, which is your marriage and family. So the reason why I call it a false god and I can diagnose it as a false god is because it brought you away from your subject partner, Rick. Even your son. Because you know how people don't like Trump because of the way he talks? People, your son doesn't like me as a person. But he says, Jamal's right about my mother. My diagnosis is that you're filled with excessive desire, chasing your false god, trying to appease your false god with excessive desire. Because you're not filled in with the right value system. Viewing from God's point of view, how wonderful it is to receive somebody's son who will inject his seed into you and entrust you with his lineage to raise his babies. That is an awesome gift. You can't beat that with a baseball bat. And here you are lusting after something else. You are only actually using H2, Hyungjin, to become this person who has won uh, an eternal ticket to the table. Um, Doug, idol worshiper, it meant more to you to be seen as instrumental and helpful to your bullshit lords than to be an honorable man. You're the one who asked me. Did I ever hear you say, I'm sorry for making, for, for having you cross paths with Clark and asking you to take responsibility? Because when I did, when I fully took responsibility, with, as wicked as he was, as lustful and misguided as he was, taking full responsibility, did you protect me? Did you go to bat for me? Did you at least admit that you asked me? To try to look out for this, 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 this young brother who was looking at true father's granddaughter's ass. No. You didn't. Because there's more important things to you than being a brother. And that's being patted on the head and being recognized and having access. That's why you move next to young Jin all the time. You know, at one point, maybe you should leave them people alone. Do you ever realize maybe you get on their nerves one day? I don't know. I don't, maybe you won't, but hey. Did they ask you to move next door? Maybe they asked you. I don't know. Maybe they really love you. I think they probably do. But it means too much to you. It's nice to be, it's nice to be adored by Hyunjin. But it didn't mean so much to me that I would let a bunch of shit get broken in the cosmos. <laughs> so, so you, you, it means so much to you. You let, a, you let the best abstinence teacher get chastised out of the church. None of your kids even came to the church. So, where was your values? 
and what, what was it? You, you, you were the expert of restoration dynamics and you knew that this cane should be broken this way, that way, and this technique for breaking cane and that technique for breaking cane. And that was your claim to fame. And it was outdated. But it means so much to you that you perturbed me to that degree. You dogged me to that degree. You were telling Gideon that I'm going to be like John Walker. On what, on what authority, on what, on, 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 why do you get to just make up shit like that? I tell you, the authority of your false God. Your false God gave you permission to go that far. Because your false God has filled you with excessive desire. You hurt the brother and it was unfair and it was untrue. You bore false witness because of your excessive desire. Um, Jerry, idol worship and relativism, relativism. And you so far back in your understanding of grasp of the principle, you're one of those Karen type, turn the other cheek Christians. You knew how I should treat the, the, the woman that I cussed out online. You knew how I should turn the other cheek in relation to sticky fingers. You knew how I should behave with people that were wrestling with me. Well, that overconfidence, I mean, you've heard Young Jin's sermons. You're also one of those people willfully with cotton in your ear. At a time when he was saying you need a sheepdog, you don't want to hear shit about a sheepdog because you knew I was that sheepdog. So you willfully ignored Young Jin. Why? Because you have excessive desire to uphold your own belief system. Actually, as ownership comes, more and more ownership senses come into the people of God, they do become, they do become hard. They do become more like sheepdogs. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Young Jim totally right about that. As an owner, father was an owner. Father didn't bend over backwards and turn the other cheek in all regards. And you guys know that. So because you see father being that way, you have to know that you're being hypocritical. Why? Because you give father a pass for being gruff, for chastising somebody, even cussing somebody out. But you won't give me a pass. In other words, Father, who gives you access, and so he, you get access to celebrity, so you make a trade. He upsets your sensibility towards, you know, your excessive faith in the, 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 the New Testament era. Turn the other cheek, which you, which, you, which you think, you know, is dope. As soon as you get away from Father, I don't grant, I don't, I'm, I, you can't get greater access through me. So you just turn on your convictions with me. You turn them off with Father, you turn them back on with me. Richard's like that too, because he's all like, oh, Jamal, you curse, you curse, you curse. And he gives a sermon about when Father said, if I say it's shit, it's shit. So Father can curse. Father can be gruff. Father can be like a sheepdog. But I can't. So why are you lopsided like that? It's because your false God is your own personal understanding. And when you get around Father, you're willing to lay down your false God, false God because your other false God is access. That's why. That's why you're like that. You don't. You 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 knew better than Youngjin that we don't need sheep dogs. Yes, you did need a sheep dog. The guy whose daughter was being uh, chatted up by Sticky Fingers. I bet you he appreciates the fact that I went to bat for him. Richard, you're a political career whore. Okay. Um, I changed your name in my phone. It doesn't have in, in my contacts list. I changed your name next to your phone number to Candy Ass. Okay? You're a political career whore. You really turned up your interest in Sanctuary Church when they offered you the president's position as you were coming off of a tumultuous experience being the president of UTS. You told me in Dunkin' Donuts, you don't even really believe in theology. So you said theology is just some things that people argue over to gain power over each other and this kind of thing, like politics. And I was trying to tell you that through theology, you could understand how the era has changed. You skirted the entire work and effort of trying to wrap your head around the, the fourth Adam's realm and the, the paradigm shift that needs to happen for your constituents. You excused yourself from that work. 
even though I was telling you that it's a, it's an actual thing. And your excuse was that religion and theology is nothing more than political maneuvering. If that's true, what the fuck is the quality of your service as president of a church? Why don't you liberate everybody from your bullshit and let a real believing theologian occupy that place? I'll tell you why you won't step aside. You'll pretend that I'm going to go ask Hyungjin if he wants me to step aside. And you know Hyungjin is going to be nice and he's going to be, no, no, I don't want you to step aside. And you'll be like, Whew, I don't know. But in your conscience, you should step aside. Why? Because people should hear from religious leaders who actually believe what the fuck they say. It's just that simple. It's just that simple. You should resign because you don't believe in theology. And you should repent for having your candy ass in that spot for this many years. When somebody, a true believer, a more true believer, could have been there. You should have told on yourself. You should have confessed. Did you, did you realize that that's what you should be doing? No, because your false God doesn't let you see that way. Because your emotional kick, which you should be getting from the fact that you're a blessed man, should allow you to say, hey, Hyungjin, I, I'm really not the guy. The, 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 your, the fact that you're a blessed man should liberate you enough so that you don't need that notoriety. And you go, I don't really want to. I mean, I'm sure that I really believe there are better people for this. Can, can I find a replacement and suggest a few replacements for you as my final act? See, if you didn't have a marriage with a false god, you could live according to your conscience, which is telling you you're not really a theologian. You should get the fuck out of these people's face. You, you know what I'm saying? You should, like, let them stop being bothered with your presence in that seat there and let somebody else be in that seat. Okay. And then losing that seat really wouldn't bother you because if your true God was the true God, according to the mind of the true God, you would know that you were already honored by being given Miho and your four babies. Jim, I'm going to put you up there with Greg and Lowell as somebody that, you know, I really don't have a real problem with you. But I would say this. You're Christian. You're a little bit ignorant of the merit of the age. You should not have went along with the gag order, whether you thought of it or Cookchin put you up to it or whatever. Because if you knew that the, we should set conditions for upside down kingdom, you would have did that. I'm almost done. Okay. I just want to call me. Okay. The only other person that I really have to talk to that's not in the Nazgul is Carrie, Mrs. Claus. I'm going to tell you this, sister. You called me terrorist. The funny thing is, the anger that I would express after being caused, called terrorist might do more to make me look like a terrorist than anything I did before. And from what I could see is you and I were sitting with Hyungjin and you had to go to work. And I was just looking at you. And you were like, Hyungjin, surely you have to go somewhere. And he was like, no. And then you were like, surely you must want to go be with the queen. And he was like, nope, she's at the church. And you were like, there must be something you need to go do. And I'm like, why doesn't this woman? And I'm, now I'm studying you to see how far you go. Because I, I was genuinely curious. You know, I, I, I'm an inner scientist and an inner mathematician. So I was really curious. I was like, wow. Because sometimes certain instances really show people's colors, right? So I'm like, wow, how far is she going to go with making sure that I don't get some quality time with this celebrity here, right? And... Boy, you, you went three and four layers. Till Youngjin finally says, well, I do have to go buy some fish food down in New Jersey. And you're like, oh, it's settled. Let's go. So not only should you leave, but I should also leave. Now, it could be that Youngjin secretly hated me. You secretly, you know, had, you know, and you had inside track on that. And you were trying to help liberate him from me. 
which would mean like why would he ask for my daughter's hand and disrespect me to that degree so I was like no nah, I don't think it's that so my conclusion was that you're an access whore and you were envious of the fact that I'd probably spend a half hour uninterrupted talking to Hyungjin and I even wondered if for some reason you didn't want me talking about the dynamics of the new era the 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 the, the dynamics of the unchurched lifestyle or the dynamics of uh, fourth atomism the realm of liberation or something like that maybe Hyungjin would find out that well according to your fears maybe I have a gr better grasp of the principle than you and that's your claim to fame and that's your false god it's that you are um, a intellectual darling so you're an access whore and um, and um, you know teaching the principle has more to do with serving your ego than liberating people or bringing people uh, clarification you know um, I also think you're an access whore because during the time of love and life you played the same game you know so um, you know, you, you, you were nipping at the heels of uh, engine as, as much as you could. So I just think you follow after celebrity as if proximity to celebrity raises your value. And that's silly. I don't need to be near Hyungjin in order to be filled <laughs> with the knowing that I'm already in possession of the most valuable thing. And that strengthens me and I wish it strengthened you. Because if it did, you wouldn't have done that to me. You wouldn't have aggressively boxed me out of some moment that fate was trying to bring to me. The fact that you do that, that's called excessive desire. Following a false god always brings you this excessive desire because he doesn't actually fill you as much as the true god. And so you have to eat more and eat again from 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 his hands, from his bowl. So um yeah, all of you, the Nazgul and Mrs. Claus. I want better for you. I want the exact I want you to turn to your spouse. But more than this, I know you heard me say it. Turn to your spouse and see that as a you have to pass the three temptations.